the Lord already knows what should be for you and what's not for you. Whether it's relationships, whether it's people, whether it's decisions you make, whether it's a job, whether you are trying to battle your own demons, you're trying to figure your life out. God already knows what's for you and what isn't for you. A lot of times we get caught up in the fact that we think a relationship may work out, right? Someone may like you, you know what I'm saying? They may show a certain interest in you. They may show a certain vibe with you that's really good, right? The vibe is a start. But as time goes on, sometimes reality kicks in. Sometimes, you know, things don't go how they are supposed to be planned. You feel like y'all should have been something special. Y'all should have been the special couple that you dreamed about, that you dreamed about in princess movies on Disney Channel, but even in the movie theater, when you watch the Disney princess movies, you think that's how the love was gonna work out. This isn't just a video just about talking about relationships though. This is all walks of life. Whether different opportunities present themselves to you that you go after, that you feel like you have the, you, you know, you have the biggest opportunity to change your life. You have the biggest special type of opportunity to forever change your life. And it doesn't fit your timeline and it doesn't fit God's plan for you. I like to read Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And it says, for I know the plans I have for you. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. God already has it foretold that you will be successful in whatever you do. Everybody has all the potential in the world to be great, to be great in the eyes of God. Everybody has the potential to be special, right? But do you really know what's for you and what's not for you from God? You have to read the room, read the elephant in the room. If you feel something is off with a relationship, if you feel something is off with a certain job, if you feel a bad type of spirit and a bad type of energy from whatever it is, you have to address it with God though. Address it with God and address it with yourself. Be honest with yourself. Do you really feel like this is for me or is this just something that's going to hinder me or something that's just going to get in my way? I want you to ask yourself that. But not only ask me, ask God that most importantly. Don't only ask yourself because what does the Bible talk about, right? Do not lean on your own understanding, but lean on God because God is wise counsel. God is the one who has all wisdom. He's all knowing. He already knows your beginning and your end. Don't even forget for a second that he's the one that is the ultimate ruler, that he's the one that knows who is good for you, who is bad for you, who's trying to uplift you, who's trying to give you words of wisdom, who's trying to positively affect your life and speak greatness into your life, or those that are negatively trying to speak down to you, who sometimes they don't have to say a word to speak down to you. It's their body language. It's the vibe. It's the energy. Now, what I, I'm saying is don't read the room wrong. You have to consult God for that. But all I'm trying to tell you is, look, bro, God already knows what's for you. Don't, don't, and I promise you, don't lean on your own understanding of knowing what's good for your life because disaster strikes. But with God, it says that his plans are for him. His plans are for you and they are not for you to be destroyed. Another verse I have for you before you leave, don't even leave this channel, don't leave the video yet. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. And I'm going to turn to it for you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. And it reads, that is what the scriptures mean when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared. For those who love him. For those who love him. Do you love God, right? Right? That's why you watch my channel. Because you love God, right? Or maybe you're new to this channel and you want to learn more about God. You want to hit the subscribe button, but I ain't trying to, you know, whatever. But what I'm trying to tell you is, look, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared. No one knows, you know what I'm saying? Not even us. We don't know what God has for us. We don't know what special opportunities he may have for us. 
to work in his vineyard, to be great, to change our lives, to change the trajectory of your life. You don't know what he has for you. That's the, that's the crazy thing about this life. That's the craziest thing. You don't even know. Every day is a journey. Every minute, every second is a journey. And every single second and minute brings opportunity. You don't know what God has for you. But that's if you love the Lord. I'll tell you this. For me, when I found the passion to start YouTube, it was, nothing had nothing to do with money. I don't care about money. God will, he will take care of me. I never worried about money. I never did. God will take care of me. So, when I first got into the passion, it's because I had a passion for it. God gave me the passion for it. God gave me the voice for it. God gave me the platform to do it. He had a plan for me to do what I do. He has a plan for you too. But you have to know what is for you and what is not. That's like if you become super successful, right? Let's take, let's take for example, shout out to Kai Sinat, right? A guy named Kai Sinat. Y'all know who it is if y'all heard of him, right? Uh, I'm not going to bring up too much, but a guy that made it that big, right? In the social media world, in the streaming world, he was successful. But he has to, and the same thing I'm trying to figure out, he had to know who was for him and who was against him who's really trying to uplift him and, and what he does and who's trying to deteriorate what he has going on. At the end of the day, you have to figure people out. You have to figure yourself out. You have to figure different, you know, decisions you have to make out. You have to figure out, you know, what your life, what God what really wants for your life. What's the plan for your life? But I won't hold y'all any longer, man. I appreciate you for watching. As always, God bless you, bro.